Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dubby daisy day today. Today we're going to talk about mini bags. I've got a lot of eye candy to share with you. Yes, today's video is all about the mighty mini bag. I was tagged to share my mini bags by the beautiful bag love who shares a love of bags with me and of course my fabulous Fendi friend Dale's Addiction. Thank you very much you beautiful ladies for tagging me to show off my mighty but mini bags. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head who actually created the tag but I will find out and I'll link everyone's videos down below because it's only right and fair and just. <laughs> so I have a few mini bags and I thought that maybe the first thing that we should do before going into my mini bags, literally, because we're going to have a look and see what fits, is to try and ascertain what a mini bag is. Because I think that could actually be quite different from person to person, what someone considers their essentials that they must have on them at all times is different. Some people get away with just keys and a guard, others need to take the kitchen sink. I'm somewhere in between. Okay, so this is a mini tote. Mm -hmm. It's not a mini bag. It's not a mini bag because I can carry everything I need in it. So my personal definition of a mini bag is one that I wouldn't be able to fit or necessarily want to carry my Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire in because this is my catch-all. This is the one. Oh, she's the one. She carries all my little bits and bobs that otherwise will be running loose in my bags and driving me absolutely nuts. But in a mini bag, do I need a catch-all of this size and shape? Can I condense? Can I curate those things I need to carry with me on an everyday basis into smaller catch-alls or just be happy leaving them loose in a smaller bag. So that is my definition. If it is a bag that I will not be able or want to carry my mini pochette accessoire in, that is my mini bag. And as for my absolute bare essentials to carry in the mini bag, it is a card holder, it is my keys in my clay, and a the tiniest, the tiniest of catch-alls using Gucci key pouch here and the barest minimum that I'm prepared to go without is lens wipe, some Rennie, and not Rennie, some paracetamol and some Rennies in here. So these are the bare bare minimum because you know as soon as you leave the house without one of those you're going to need one. Something's going to happen, something's going to go wrong. On top of that is my loose lip balm which would normally reside in my Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire and depending on the occasion I might take my airpods as well. Did I mention my phone? I think I did. If I didn't, my phone. So those are the absolute barest of bare, 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 bare essentials that I would be prepared to leave the house with. I have been known to also use my Bottega Veneta card holder because this one is quite quite expansive. I've been known to use this one to carry the contents of my card holder and my headache pills and Rennies and all of that stuff in here as well. It means I've got one thing to carry instead of two but depending on the bag again it could make things a little bit more awkward to Tetris in there. And so for the purposes of this video I shall be sticking with my separate card holder and my Gucci key pouch. Now let's not forget I've become quite obsessed with the nano bags. We won't be count <laughs> counting these as mini bags for the purposes of this video but I do want to do a comparison between three styles that I have um, and what fits and how I wear them and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so I've got a lot of eye candy to share with you. I've got Fendi, I've got Louis Vuitton, I've got Espinal, I've got Bottega Vanessa, I've got Prada and I've got Coach. So let's start off with my Louis Vuitton Pochette Folici. Yes. Now, I went into the store looking for this in the canvas. It was right at the point where they'd started to really cut back on the monogram canvas pieces, so that wasn't available. And when the lion saw this one, he said, why would you go for the monogram canvas one 
when you can have this one. This has turned out to be much better, I think, than a canvas version. Um, because it's leather, it has actually given over time. It's become a little bit more malleable, and I'm not entirely sure the canvas would do that. There's a slip pocket at the back, which I can put my phone in if I so desired. Card holder stands up comfortably on its edge. Now that, Gucci, is that a problem for closing? Mm, might need to lie Gucci down in there. Key holder, key clay, and my Gucci lip balm. Sitting in between, actually I'll sit that on top. There you go, that's everything in there. Now, with the two key clays in here, it looks, it closes, but it does look a little bit bulgy on one side. So in this particular bag, because we've got the slip pocket at the back, I would probably decant my paracetamol and Rennies and just slot them in the back. Next up, we'll have a look at my Aspinall of London Soho Clutch. Now this is the old style Soho Clutch that stands up on its own and it is in this gorgeous uh, Zuloto, I think it was, mm, gold um, leather. It's kind of patenty, but I don't think it's actual patent. Uh, but it's definitely coated with something and it's given me epi leather vibes. I do like that um, print on it. Now it comes with a crossbody chain strap and and a wristlet strap but I have added this strap which is a dress up your purse grab strap and I've added to that a lovely little twilly scarf. I've done it really badly but I've added it. Look at that, isn't it cute? And this was actually a gift from a subscriber. I believe it was Roberta. Was it Roberta? I'm going to say Roberta. Thank you Roberta. <laughs> Um, yes, so this is the Aspinall Soho Clutch. Now this is taller, it's got that kind of A shape to it, um, but we'll see what we can get in this one. Phone actually can stand up on its end in here. Don't think there's going to be any problem getting the card. Yeah, look at that. There's loads of room in this one. It is nice and flat. It sits crossbody, really nice and flat to the body. I like the fact that this one will actually stand up on its own. Let's go with another Aspinall of London bag. This is the Micro Lottie, and this one is in the uh, colour Nougat. Nougat. It has got no backslip pocket, although it looks like it should have a backslip pocket. The other, the larger size Lotties, this is a slip pocket on the back. It does have feet, so we're halfway there with the basic human lights. It has got a long crossbody strap, which you can double up, wear across the shoulder. Now, I was worried about my phone, my previous phone fitting in this one, uh, but it actually did. My phone is the Samsung S21, and I got this because it's small. It is not one of those massive, massive, massive phones, because I've only got small hands, and it drives me nuts when I have to use two hands to type out a damn message. So, um, this one fits in really, really easily. My old phone was bigger and it fitted in the back. It's got a separate little card slot at the back, but there's no way a phone is going in there. Don't really use that for anything. I think the care card is just in there. Do apologize for the lighting. Yes, it's that time of day when the sun is trying to set and I'm trying to film. Um, so my phone sits at the back there quite easily. So in there I've stacked my Gucci clay, my Louis Vuitton clay, my card holder, and then my Gucci lippy just sits down the side there. She is such a pretty, pretty little bag. This one definitely falls under the mini but mighty category because I was shocked, shocked that my older, larger phone actually fitted in here. And just because I wanted to see if it would fit in there, no problemo, my AirPods case, my Balenciaga AirPods case fits in that little spare bit in there. No problem. What a bag, what a bag. The next one we're gonna go with is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. Now, this, the same as the Pochette Felici, actually falls under SLG category if you like on the Louis Vuitton website and it is classified as an SLG um, but 
there's absolutely no doubt that this has been a really really popular bag kind of entry level luxury all of that kind of stuff and it's pretty big you can see this is pretty big there's a reason that this bag is so popular and i do still love it and because you've got the removable um, shoulder strap which is not quite long enough to go over my chonky shoulder um, but I don't tend to use that at all I tend to use a crossbody Louis Vuitton Vachetta strap or a chain strap and um, this you're going to have no problem just dropping dropping I'm not even looking just dropping things in there just dropping them in there what else have I got yeah airpods just drop them in there no no problem still plenty of room to spare could I even get this in here? Well, that's without actually arranging anything in here. Okay, it's a little bit tight where I've got that sitting on top, but there's loads of room at the bottom. So if I just turn that over. It still reigns, it still reigns supreme in sort of mini bag territory. I think it is a cracker. Wouldn't pay the retail price for it now, certainly wouldn't pay over retail for it now. But if you have one of these, you can pat yourself on the back for having a cracking little mini bag. Okay, next up is my Bottega Veneta mini twist. And this looks like there's a lot of bag here but really it is a mini bag it is that is what we're playing with in the Bottega Veneta mini twist in this beautiful intrecciato woven leather I do love it. it smells so good as well feels amazing so that's what we're playing with now I have managed to get my sunglasses in here before um, but that was a bit of a push you've got this weird little bobbly out bit here I say weird, I absolutely love this bag. I'm so sorry, my everything's going nuts. My phone's going nuts. Dropping these pieces in here. I'm gonna chuck my Balenciaga headphones case in there, my Gucci lippy. This one, I don't think, ooh, it might. Let's give it a go. Okay, I've put that right down into the pointy bit. So that's where the selfie stick is now. I've got my key case both of them I've got my headphones got my lippy I it still absolutely tickles me that this bag opens at the bottom I absolutely love it what a what a cracking bit of fun design yeah so it looks like a big bag it is a mini bag but then because it's so squishy and you've got that weird little bit there you can actually fit quite a lot in there Next up we'll go with Coach and I have this Basquiat Beat 18 I want to say and this is the uh, from the Basquiat um, Coach collection. I absolutely love this bag. This was the first Coach bag I ever bought and it is because I loved this. I had to have this bag. You can see we've got the central dividers. There's like a zip up pocket there so you can put good flat stuff in there and you've got a separate flat pocket at the back but really there's not a lot of room in this one, not a lot of room at all. Now, your selfie stick is not going in, not going in this one. So what I would generally do is to have easy access, I'd have my phone in the back slip pocket there so I can just grab it. My preferred method of carrying this bag is by the top handle as well. So it's usually in my hand and then I can just grab that. But I will show you my phone in the bag as well can't have it standing up even though it's a small phone so my phone is in the back there all on its lonesome and my card case stands up nicely on the front as does my Louis Vuitton key clay or clay and you can see there it is just level with the very top of the bag and the Gucci one I think is a little bit longer so no, that one's fine as well, there. And then lipstick can sit in the middle. Now, like I said, usually I'd have my phone poking out of the back pocket, back slip pocket, and so I could use that space for something else. Maybe stand those pieces up at the back and then have a little bit more room in the front. I have actually managed to get my fold-up Ray-Bans um, in their pouch in here in the front section as well. You can see the front section is quite a bit more generous than the back 
but my, my basics my absolute basics fit in here absolutely no problem and then I can rock around the town with my little my famous Basquiat bag next up is my fabulous Fendi my first Fendi handbag is this beautiful leather Nappa leather baguette in the mini size it goes perfectly with my Fendi strap that I bought at Bista Village for an absolute bargain and I needed a small black bag that I can do a lot with. This comes with a leather and chain crossbody strap and the top handle as well, both of which are detachable. In this bag we have got, it's very difficult to see because it is a black lining, but you've got one, two, three card slots at the back if you wanted to go without a card holder I've not done that because it's just too easy to drop a card holder in here. Now in terms of standing things up on their side, there's a little bit of um, extra room there at the top so you can stand things up on their sides in this bag. The Gucci might be pushing it though. Let's pop these in and obviously I've got to put my, my phone in here as well. Phone slot that down the front and then my lippy down the back so everything's on its side card holder Louis Vuitton clay Gucci clay and um, my phone is just lying on its side at the front and then my Gucci lip balm is there and that closes absolutely no problem this is a great size actually I really really do really do like it uh, the Gucci is the Gucci clay is making it a little bit wonky there let's see if we can do something about that I've had a bit of a rejig, I've had a bit of a play. I've laid everything down so my phone is now at the back, right there. So you've got a nice flat bit on the back there. And then I've got my card holder, I've got my Gucci clay, I've got my Louis clay. I've managed to get in my Balenciaga AirPod case there. And in this little gap here, I've got my Gucci lip balm. And again, that closes with no problem and it's it's looking a little bit more flat less wonky on the top but it does look pretty well stuffed a bit like me after i've been out for dinner and the last bag i would count as a mini bag now i'm looking at her on screen doesn't seem that mini <laughs> is miss prada my beautiful re-edition crystal and i always forget which one this is whether it's the 2000 or 2005 i think it's the 2005 who knows um i love this bag so much and technically speaking i can fit i've just closed it i can fit my mini pochette accessoire in here but it takes up a lot of space and i just rather not <laughs> okay so this bag is pretty cavernous and I'm really disappointed that the sun has gone behind some clouds now because you're not going to get to see that beautiful sparkle that she gives in the direct sunlight. Now the first thing is I haven't actually ever tried this before but we'll see if... <gasps> yes, that fits in there, absolutely no problem. And then my usual suspects, my two clays, drop in, no problemo. My phone, no problem card holder no problem airpods no problem and lippy no problem now i do believe i have in this bag also put my gucci sunnies sat them on top because that's everything in there including the um selfie stick stand thing professional youtuber don't you know <laughs> there's still quite a bit of space in there it is not a bag you can carry the kitchen sink in but if you wanted to let's do a little of experiment this that's not happening that's not happening but if you have a smaller sunglasses case that would definitely go in and my sunnies just in their little satin bag do fit in here no problem okay let's close her up now you can see there's still a bit of space either side but i wouldn't want to put too much more in there this isn't a bag that i carry 
on my shoulder because it barely fits on my shoulder and frankly the idea of sweating into this satin crystal combo um, gives me the absolute fear so no that's not going to happen but not only does she look fabulous she just is fabulous she carries loads as well so things kind of escalated there a little bit as we went through my mini bags from carrying the bare minimum to bare minimum plus extra but there is absolutely no doubt that all of these little beauties are mini but mighty and i suppose you want to know which is my favorite now do you Okay, I feel like a bit of a dum-dum because I forgot my Alexander McQueen box 16 as well. Yes, this is a mini bag, you can tell. She's a mini bag, she is the whip stitch. And the reason I forgot about her is that she sits on that stand there and she is decorative. I do use her occasionally, but I reach for other bags first because it is a mini bag and because it is so structured, it can be quite tricky to get things in and out of here. You can see we've got a three-part interior. It's only the middle section that is actually big enough to allow my phone to go in and lie down. Yeah, without pushing out the, the edges of the bag, the sides of the bag. So my Gucci is at the front there, lying down. Um, I can get my AirPods case and my lippy in that middle section as well but I do find this I mean I love this bag but I really wanted the next size up when I was looking for it and um, but this was on such a great deal I had to buy this one um, I do love this bag don't use it that much I have other options I'm very lucky to have other options but yeah she's a great bag she looks so cool so damn cool um yeah sorry I forgot about you <laughs> whoopsie Okay, so my favourite bag out of everything, out of all of these mini bags, has to be Miss Prada because she is basically one of my most favourite bags in the entire history of handbags ever, 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 anything, ever. <laughs> I love this bag, I love this bag so damn much it is not true. So she is my absolute favourite, but I'll give you another two. So we'll have my top three favourite mini bags. Coming in at number two... I think is Miss Fendi, Miss Mini Baguette. Um, I love the versatility of this bag. Yes, she is small. She is smaller than some of my other mini bags, um, but she still carries what I need. And um, I just love the way she looks with that, that other strap. Um, yeah, great, versatile piece, love it. Probably like to get more in other colors or materials or whatnot. Mm, and my third favorite. My third favourite, actually, it's the final three I showed you. I think I subconsciously saved my final three, my favourite three, for my final three um, to showcase. And it is my Coach Basquiat Beat 18. I love this bag. It's just so much fun. It is a usable bag. I love that you can sit it down and it will stay sat down. It's not going to fall over or anything. Even though she probably looks like she'll carry more than she actually carries, she's up there in my top three. That's my top three. Not a bad little selection, not a bad lineup. All told, I didn't realise I had quite so many bags that would fall into the mini category let me know in the comment section down below which was your favorite of my mini bags which is your favorite of your own mini bags or if you're not even into mini bags at all you think what is this nonsense i must have a tote on me at all times in which case might i recommend the mark jacobs mini tote <laughs> because it is a cracking little bag as well i do hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please show it the thumbs up love and until i see you yes you for the next one, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan-dabby-dozy, and bye bye